Hey, it's Brickzar. In this video, we're going to look at what's inside a Lego train motor. This is one of those from like the 70s. We're going to, and we're going to convert a 4 volt motor to a 12 volt motor. So, Lego did sell replacement parts back in the day for these train motors because they would wear out if you used them a lot, although I've never actually worn one out myself. Uh, I have had some that were not functioning, and then we could replace either the motors, you got bearings or bushings or whatever in there. Um, don't remember, it's been a while since I took one of these apart. So what we're going to do, this is a 4 volt motor, or 4.5 volt motor, and it's kind of hard to see right there, but there's a red 4. I don't know if it show, how well it shows up. Let's change the lighting here. It's a four. So we're going to take that four and we're going to replace it with this motor here. This is set 703. I got a bunch of these a long time ago on eBay and I totally forgot about it. But this is a 12 volt motor. You see it's got um, a red, I mean a red, a yellow stripe on it instead of the red stripe. That's what I meant shows who makes it and it says 12v there and it's going to go inside this other motor so let's right, take so it. now i can't remember there's two screws there two screws on the bottom let's start with the screws on the bottom oh did you think i was going to saw it in half <laughs> uh-oh there goes i broke my screwdriver it's a really cheap screwdriver and we're undoing the screws here. How many? Do you think parts are going to go flying everywhere? Uh, maybe I need to do the top ones as well. Let's do these. Oh, this could get ugly. Maybe I should have just done the top ones. Right. Oh. Let's see what happens now. There we go. Yeah, I should have just done the top one. So let's have a look inside of the Lego train motor. So the motor just pops right out. You can see the gears there. So what we're going to do, since we didn't really need to take these screws off, we're going to put them back on. So if you're like me, you collected a lot of Lego train parts over the years. It's good to keep even the broken ones because you never know if you not, might need a part from it uh, to fix something else. But it's possible that over time these gears could even wear out. Uh, here's still where the little bushings are right in here. And I think that's why you need to take the bottom part off to get to the bushings. Those are the pieces that hold the wheels. And the wheels had a little pin on them so that the wheel would actually turn when the motor turns. Uh, but if that piece breaks or wears off, then it won't turn. So the way you can tell that that's broken is if you put a wheel in there and it just turns without turning the motor, then you know it's that that's the problem. All right. So this is nothing wrong with this motor, but it's a four volt motor, and we're going to put slide that right in there, and see our little motor hits that gear there that turns the whole thing. And then we can put the battery. I mean the uh, cover, the battery, the motor housing back on it. Ta-da! And we have converted it from a 4.5 volt motor to a 12 volt motor. So it's, it is actually hard to find uh, the 12 volt motor and basically that is the only difference between a 4 volt motor and a 12 volt motor is the actual motor inside. The rest of it looks the same. And I have, this is a warning to people that perhaps you're wanting to get a 12 volt motor for an older 1970s or early 1970s train set. Uh, a lot of sellers do not know. I, they honestly don't know the difference between a 12 volt motor and a 4.5 volt motor. And they go to list them, they see, they look and they see the picture and they go, oh, that is my motor, I will sell it. Oh, look, it's 30 bucks. I will sell it for 30 bucks. And it's the 30 buck motor is the 12 volt. So basically, you're paying for the difference between this motor and the one that's in here. Uh, everything else is pretty much identical. So if you can find these motors like I did in the actual set, <laughs> 
<laughs> the replacement set uh, it was a lot cheaper I actually found four of these on eBay a while back and it was cheaper to buy all four of these than to buy one of these with an actual 12 volt motor in it and now I know I actually have a 12 volt motor and not a 4 volt motor in there because I did buy two from Bricklink before and when I got them they were not 12 volt motors they were 4 volt motors so that's a long story to t uh, about that but just wanted to show you that video of what's inside a Lego 12 volt aka 4.5 volt motor housing and it's the motor and the gears see you in the next video thanks for watching Brigsar this motor is older than Mrs. Brooks are. 12-12-1973. Wow.